Hi, this is a quick demo uh, about using Neonta for creating GRS2 apps. Uh, so first of all, just open Neonta Studio and uh, create a new project. And just click File and New. And let's call this uh, GRS2 dem demo. And uh, Let's give the app a name. Let's call it Hello World. And now we're ready. Uh, then click the satellite app and uh, click Samsung GRS2 app. Now you can see we have a uh, one new screen here. Uh, this is the uh, this is the first screen of the GRS2 app. We can modify the screen content like this. By default the there is just the background shape here. We can change the color. The color of the background, we can put it like white. And then uh, let's add some text. Well, the text is now white, so I think we can just change the color of the background something darker. Yeah, the darker, the black is really good for, uh, it doesn't drain the battery life with the smartwatch, so please use dark or black backgrounds in the apps, but you, you can set, set any, any, any color you want. Uh, so now we have a simple app screen and uh, it just has the text, hello world. We can expand the screen uh, with the pages, so I can just click the hello world and set the duration here. Let's put it to two. So now we can see we have two, two pages and uh, this hello world text is shown in both pages. Uh, let's add an image which is only present in the second page. So I click the import image and uh, can just import any kind of image and uh, let's put it full screen. So we have image here. As you can see that the image is now at the top and we can drag it under the text block. So now we can see the text and also then select the image and set the duration to one. So it's only present in one page and just drag it to the second page. So well, we have two screens. One says hello world and the second one has the hello world and the background image. And you can swipe between these screens uh, in actual device or just use the bezel. Uh, let's add an extra screen and a button that leads to that screen. So let's go back to the project map and click add screen. We have, uh, let's call this price list, doesn't matter. And uh, let's add some text. Just draw, draw a text element there. And uh, let's put some image. And paste some and you have the uh, device preview here so it's really easy to align the text I think that's good and then to make this uh, text scrollable just select the text block and drag it to the scroll flow element group and you can see that the screen expands so this way this text is scrollable in the actual device uh, and we're still missing one one thing there's no connection between the screens let's add a button here we can put it put the button in the it doesn't matter what the first page so at first we can draw draw the rectangle and this is the button. Let's put it in the middle. Go to interaction tab. Check when user taps and then select go to and select the price list screen. So we have a connection between the, these two screens. The final decoration would be probably to add some text on top of the rectangle. Uh, 
Ale pobyt nie ma. Like this, I think. And then we can select the duration for the bottom elements to one, so it's only seen in the first first page. Perhaps I change the color of the background something else. I think this is good. Yes. So we have a uh, uh, two screens, uh, two pages in this first screen. Uh, one is with the button and one is with the background image and hello world text. Uh, then the only thing that we need to do is just well, re let's rename the app to Hello World and then export to Tyson IDE. And now we are generating the C code and the whole uh, Tyson IDE pro uh, project. And uh, here's the Tyson IDE. We just need to import the project we just generated. It's under Neonto Studio, it works in Project Tyson. I think we can find it. Yeah, it's the Hello World. Click Open, and then Finish. And here we have the code. And then I have already connected my watch to Tyson ID. I just need to simply select the project and run it to the actual watch.